Hello everybody, welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. We are here today with another gameplay. In last episode, we managed to pick up Asterion, someone that is going to be quite vital in our endeavors towards success, or honestly, whatever we decide we want to do. More survivors? They're trying to dig somebody out of the wreckage. Oh dear. Something's wrong. They should be trying to get away if they had any sense. Well, we immediately get caught into the action. Let's see what these guys want. They look dazed. Come on, dig! Faster! Get her out of there! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Hmm. Step back. I'm here to help. Help? Yes. It's my daughter! You... You did this! You want to kill her! No, I don't. I'm trying to help. I thought I made that very clear by the... <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if we can't get a sneak attack in. So, ooh, one down. Skip, or not skip, but end that turn. Now let's do Sacred Flame. I don't want to kill these guys. That one seems stronger. We'll do that one. And of course she missed. Alright, Zornoth, don't let us down. Take Mr. Dwarf down. Nice. You've given us experience to level up. Perfect. Loving that. We're, they're going to make us kill this one too. Goodness. Suddenly, something convulses inside you. Your vision lurches sickeningly. You are one with your assailants. Your minds fused together. They are frightened, lost. The creature in the wreckage is forcing them to attack you, controlling them like puppets. Its voice shivers across your brain, seeking access, trying to bend your will to its bidding. Well, Obviously, I'm going to use my wisdom, focus my mind, try to break the influence. Let's get that wisdom check going on. Should be, I should pass it with ease. Oh, no. Ugh, son of a gun. You feel a shock of agony as the mind flare cuts through your defenses, piercing your mind. Your vision swims, but you fight through the pain. Your assailants are still under the creature's thrall. Okay, well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to kill this little fisher. Last uh, game I played, I passed the wheel check. I have been terrible with the rolls. Like, what the F? I guess we'll take this guy out. Ugh. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Okay, well, first of all, I'm definitely not going to give in to the emotion. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh you can't move. Can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. All right, well, clearly its focus is elsewhere. Let's try to concentrate on its thoughts, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Intelligence roll, here we go. Come on, get a good roll. Thank goodness, oh baby. Your mind spews, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance. A vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can...
can provide. I definitely don't want that. Submit to the feeling. Lean in as for a kiss. Resist the intrusion with everything you have. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little curious as to what will happen if I just submit to this. Let's do it. Honestly. Why not? What in the hells? Get away from that thing! Everything will be fine. I'm, I'm just gonna lean into it. Why not? I want to see what happens. Warm, wet tentacles wrap themselves around your head. And for the first time in your life, you're perfectly happy. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Suddenly, something can you are one. The creature's voice shivers across your brain, seeking access, trying to bend your will to its bidding. The presence in your mind gropes for purchase and finds the tadpole instead. You push back taking advantage of a tremor of pain that cuts through the creature. As its influence wanes, your assailants lower their weapons, blinking in confusion. Where... where are we? There was... fire in the sky and... and then... Oh God! Sona! What happened to my friend? Yeah, you guys were kind of taken over by an evil force. Um, sorry. God, I, I think you're right. It called out from the wreckage. It sounded just like my daughter. But she's been dead for years. That thing got into our heads, drove us mad. We wrecked our boat just trying to get close to it. What do we do now? Well, um... <laughs> to train a new slave, uh, can it be repaired? No chance. It's bloody driftwood. And we're in the middle of nowhere, and even... Oh, wait. You. I can feel you. Just like one of those things. You're one of them! No, no, no. Calm down. They adopted me, but I escaped. There's something in your head. Please, we'll take our chances out here. Just, just leave us be. Okay. You do you. I do not plan on... I don't plan on trying to make you guys join us or anything like that. Okay, let's see. What does... A Starion, I have to say. Simpletons. The beast was half dead and they still bowed to its whims. It wasn't enough to save them. Now I have to have emotions about it. Travelling with you is going to be exhausting. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel... compassion. Compassion. Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. All right, let's see if we can't pass our intelligence check again. Here we go. Oh, my dear lord. We barely passed it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Your mind spews, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive. 
and with your very body, you can provide. That is not happening. We're going to have a wisdom check. Come on. I just need a five. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Yeah, let's, let's kill this thing. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave it to die slowly. I might regret that, but it deserves nothing more, especially making me go through that sequence twice. Yeah, I am definitely not happy with that thing. <laughs> All right, let's see what's up here. Maybe we can get some... There's some fire here. Um, okay, they're going to walk right into it. We might as well then. My goodness. I don't have the smartest... Help to down allies. You fool! Um, hide, shove, dip, throw, dash, help. Here we go. That is kind of pathetic. Shadowheart, you're a little pathetic. But we'll keep going. Zornoth's got 17 hit points as opposed to their 10. That might be because I've leveled. Here, let's see if we can't level them real quickly. I thought I turned it on to automatic level up but evidently not all right there's one now let's level up asterion beautiful okay let's nope i don't want to be asterion zornoth is my main dude my guy my homie i hear shouting up ahead we should check it out but be careful uh oh, speaking of, please, the goblins are on us. We got some more people that need help. How many people need help in this gosh darn place? Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. What was he going to do with that arrow? Uh oh. By the nine hells, open the gate. All right, we got some goblins. Another fight scene going on. All right, let's see how we can help. Let's start by get it, getting this. Oh, jeez. Um, can I shoot from this guy from here? Must have an advantage. I guess we'll just normal shoot him then. Miss! Asterion. What the F, man? That warg hit for seven. That's insane. This guy's going to do nothing. Oh, Zevlar is going to help. Okay. Barely. Let's get our druid or our cleric, sorry, up here. What can I reach from here? Can I reach that one? Perfect. Okay. That's one down. And now it's Zornoth's turn. Well, suppose after these guys, it's Zornoth's turn. Oh, jeez. He jumped all the way down. He's ready to fight. This guy, I appreciate. I like that guy. A little archer trying to gain an advantage point. We're going to stop that guy immediately. Managed to get a shot off. That bugger. These guys, thankfully, have a lot of... Scouts! Get to the high ground! Raiders! I like how they're targeting one person at a time. Oh, that was a good... Oh, miss. <laughs> miss. Okay. Now it's Zornoth's turn, finally. Goodness me. Of course, I go absolutely last. Let's take care of this guy. 
We do not want that fella living. Oh, come on. You couldn't have hit your shot. Sleeping. Ah, that's why I want to get rid of him. Okay, do not miss this shot, Asterion. Oh, there we go. Okay. That guy's down. We just have a warg, a few more goblins. We also have a goblin over here that we need to take care of. So it looks like we have four goblins and a warg, and these guys are getting trashed. Can you... Oh, my gosh. Okay, you hit once. Good job. <laughs> my goodness. Come on, one hit it. Nope. Of course. Okay, well, at least that guy's healing. And you get hit, because you're trash. Reckless war cry. Uh-oh. Now they're all buffed. I don't think that person next to the gate is going to live, if I'm being 100% honest. Come on, Zornoth. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Take notes, other fellas. Take notes, Shadowheart and Asterion. Because you people cannot... C clearly cannot... Okay, let's get rid of this ward. That's actually a pretty tough boy right there. Ooh. Alright, at least he didn't hit Asterion for like 9 or 10. 6 I can deal with. Okay, that guy's down. Okay, perfect. Now you kill that warg. We need to get rid of that warg. That guy's going to dash. Maybe he'll go over next to... Yep, okay. Beautiful. If you can take those guys out, we'll be good to go. Oh, that's kind of weird. Aridin and Will. So this guy is still alive. All right, I definitely want to get this warg down. We don't need that mofo messing with us. Can I get a sneak attack? Yes, I can. Let's get a sneak attack for this bugbear. Dude, Asterion. You're trash, my guy. You've hit one shot. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay. Let's do guiding bolts. Come on, you got this. Boom, 20. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to do that, actually. Uh, stop, please. Thank you. Okay, we'll put him there. Why did you get in front? You couldn't have healed him from there? Man, what is this? All right, Zornoth, just take care of this guy. You've taken care of every other person. Boom. Zornoth, of course, almost one-hitting him, leaving one hit point. That's it. Come on, Asterion, hit once. There we go. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate! Perfect. All right. Beautiful. We end up getting to the town, finally. Druid Grove. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, favor, and subscribe. We are finally in Druid's Grove, which means we are in town and able to talk to a lot more people. Uh, and expect some talking. <laughs> so expect some dialogue. Anyways, I... Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!